Today we'll be working on my daughter's Norco 16. We're just going to fill it up, grade 34, because she's riding her little cabbage bike without training wheels. We're going to take training wheels off. We're going to add a rear handbrake, disable the rear coaster brake so she can spin the pedals, pedals backwards. I've got a 30mm stem going as well, just to make that a little bit smaller and make it a bit easier for her. Um, I've got a few little purple things to few little purple things to bling it up a little bit and I'm going to go to slightly bigger front tire just so she'll be more grip and cushion up front there. Okay, let's start with we're gonna get these train wheels out of the way and pull the rear wheel out of it. Now I'm just going to get this chain guard out of the way so we can get the wheel, the chain off it. There you get the uh, little bracket off for the actual coaster hub thing itself. We'll still have to reuse this, but that's okay. Yeah, got to pull his hub apart. This can be really, really tight, so you might have to get a bit inventive trying to hold it and undo it. Ready to put stuff on. So we don't lose it all. Keep it nice in order so we don't make an error. this year out. Now I haven't forgot how this does, she basically just spin the uh, axle thing and it'll come out itself, wind itself out, so we're trying to spin it by the tools. I had a mad moment there, don't mind me. Sit that down there. And pull this shaft out of here. And pull your coaster brakes themselves out. That is what we want to have gone. They can go in the bin. That bearing doesn't want to come out the other side. Ah, oh, there we go. There's our Colgan thing. We want to pull this mechanism out here. Grab a pair of pliers. Make sure they're not full of gun, like these ones are. Grab this, these little togs here and bend them up flat. Like that. Grab the other side. Bend that round flat too, like that. Then we can start putting it all back together. So I'm to grab this, feed it back in from the other side. Make sure it's in there. We then want to put this in. Well, actually, we're probably better off to put the axle back in first. Then we want to grab this piece here. Make sure we put the right way in. Feed it down in. Basically, just spin it, thread back together. Spin the cog, it'll feed itself back in there, and that way it'll drive forwards. Spin back, up. Next, we'll want to leave that out. We want to put our bearing back in. Put 
this piece back in, which we can do the, exactly the opposite way of what we took it out, just spin the shaft around. Takes a little while, but we'll get there. Just snip that up snugly. Make sure it spins back okay. Now I'm just going to wipe my hands, grease off my hands quickly, just so we don't have to worry about that. And now this base goes back there that we pulled apart. Put little dust cover back on. Put our little arm that holds that back on there. Put the washer and the first nut. Come here. Get that on. Make sure that's lined up with the slot and the right way around so it points outwards towards the frame. Put our spanner on the other side. Put it up quite nicely. No, that's over time. We'll back that back off a little bit. Alright, she carried away there. Now some you need to slide a little bit of a washer in here just to take a little bit of the room up. Right. We'll try this again. Not always have to do that, but some you have to just to help with the amount of slap, uh, amount of slack that's in it. We'll see how it wants to go together. We'll see how it wants to go together this time. I don't seem to be able to put my words together very well today. But we'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. Nipped up. Goes forwards. Goes backwards. Goes forwards. Goes backwards. Okay. Now that feels much better. We'll do what we're doing. Putting this back together. Putting our bracket on the right way. Holding it in. Down up. And I just forgot to put the wash on it, so you know. You do it nice and slowly the first time, make sure you do it right, and then you realise you've got to add a washer just to get a bit more, a little less slop in it, so it takes up earlier, and you then try and rush it and do stuff like that. But. Tiny nip up. This one goes forwards, backwards, forwards. Yep. We'll go put this back in the bike and see how it feels. Get that started. And now we'll put the back wheel back in. Showing all the wheel first. Slide in. Put it up on here. Use nuts that used to hold the training wheels on to hold the wheel on just because they're a bit wider and I won't have so much thread hanging at the end of it. Let me get on with the spanner a bit better. We'll start this little bracket here. It's onto the hub so it's not popping around too far out of the way. Make sure it chains on all the way. Otherwise, it won't pull in there. Make sure the wheel is square up in the frame. About there. I can chain side up first. For some reason it seems to twist the right way. Make sure the chain's not overly tight. 
Squid up in the frame. You need it up. Whee! Nicely, pedal, and back spin it goes. Back spin, the boards, back spin. That wheel's tired a little bit wobbly, but the wheel's not, so that's all that matters. And that is how you disable the coaster brake. So it'll be much safer and better for the riding and easier as well. On the next job is putting the rear brake on, so she got another way of stopping the back wheel now. Alright, we'll try this again. It was I could just see it was running out of thread there. So I thought some washers, so make sure the nut stays on the thread. I don't have any issues that would be a good idea. And always worth checking. It's all squared up there. That's better, there's a thread all the way to the washers now. Do this up. I don't know why I only got the span. I should grab that um, batch. It would have made way more sense. Yeah, I'm going to grab the ratchet. That's going to make way more sense. We're going to fit up this U or C brake, depending on where you are. It seems to be what they refer it to on here. I actually got carried away and started fitting it, so I've already set the pads up on it. but. That's not overly difficult. Really doesn't matter where this locks off, but on all moves, so that's snugged up. That's nice and good. I don't want to start. I don't want to start squashing the uh, tree brain. Start by taking these grips off. Down the way, the air makes it nice and easy. Next, we'll get this brake lever out of the way. Line these notches up so I can get the lead out of it. Get yeah, line these up so the cord will come out. Whoop, slide it up, and out it comes. Nice and easy. And then, just awesome, put the right size. We'll slide this brake lever off out of the way. We don't need that one anymore. I'm just swapping this stem over. And they are. Yeah. Now I'll have them outside and I'll take that back. Yeah, side nuts. Slide that one right off. Slide the new 30mm one off. Top cap on to start it. We'll just nip it up, start off with just so it's in the ballpark where it needs to be, just with the heads. get the preload on the headset. That feels really nice. We'll slide the bars in, make sure the right way around. Yeah. 
Oh, there's a perfect sorry. For the ones. Oh, yeah, that's some close. Now we nick these ones up. Just get these up nice and firm. Well, just firm, not overly tight. Go double check these ones are about the same. Alright, that's another job for now. Right, I will back this cable off just a little bit to make it possible because it seems like this has a slight different length on it than the original one. Slide it in. Line up the pieces all the way around. We'll just screw it home a little bit tighter, all the way adjustment, all the way in. I might. Yeah. And go back the other end. Adjust it all the way up. Back it off a tiny bit. See how that feels. No, that's a bit too much. We'll back it off a little bit. A little bit too far back the other way. A bit fiddly on this. Yeah, that's close enough. We're going to adjust it up at this handle here. What I'm going to do is cut most of this excess off out of the way. Then we've got some little new little caps to go on the end of it. Slide the cap on there. Use the same tool we use for electrical connectors. Just squeeze it home. I like our tree swats. All done, all nice and safe. No one's going to hurt itself on that one. And then we can go on with the back brake. Got cable already fed through here. Slide it on. Kind of work out where we want it. I think we might go the inside of the front one. Around there. I might grab some cable ties for now. These are well and truly oversized, but they'll keep it neat while we work this length out and while I wait for the brackets to still on their way and the post will arrive. Out there, probably. Something like that, so there's plenty of room for it, it's not going to be an issue. Then, we'll grab something, a bit of tape to mark that. I don't we'll work out where that wants to sit. We'll wrap a piece of tape around it, so we don't lose it. And then we want to slide the inner cable out a heap, so we don't cut that too short. And then I'm just going to be really lazy and use the angle grinder. That was the ultra lazy way of doing it. We'll pull our tape back off. Push our inner cord through. Or inner cable I should say. Then we'll put our little plastic in the sleeve on it. Make sure it 
fits up on there nicely. End of the cable. And we can feed it through. Now we'll do this cable tie up here. Looks quite nice and neat tucked there and we'll cut them off. Sort of fold it under a bit. Down under. Now we'll work on getting this rear brake hooked up. Back this off nicely. And then down the bottom, there's actually a hole to push the cable through. Squeeze it through, make sure that's all lined up where it needs to be. Put it back off just slightly. Then do this nut up. We'll see where it lands. Yeah, that's not quite enough. We'll do it up a little bit more. Right, so there's a little bit of a twist in it. It'll probably take you a few attempts to get this all right. A bit of a pain. Squeezes in. Alright. So now we'll cut the uh, tail end of this off. Leave just enough so we've got something to play with at a later date. And then we'll grab a little purple protector out. Just so no one ever hurts himself on it. Because frayed wires are not great for anyone involved. Especially when it's kids. I'll squeeze it on. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we'll go back up to adjusting the front. Now I do have some new grips on the way, but they're kind of postage taken forever, so I'll throw these ones on back on because I know they're about the same length. Hopefully that air compressed behind you is not too noisy. I'm just going to swap the dowel cap over on the front, just so it matches nice purple one on the back. Um, I was going to leave off, I do have a new front tyre, new grips, and some possible pedals on the way for this, but shipping's taking you for ages, so I'll probably have this video out for the done, and I was doing a little update, sort of a final quick, probably a short or something, how it looks once it's done. But I'll show you in a sec where it's at now. 